Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is my second WAD progression update. So this update is coming just after I've completed Fava Beans and just before I'm taking on uh, Base Ganymede. So firstly, Fava Beans, you know, I've, I've had a riot with that. It's been great fun. I've really, really enjoyed it. You know, I know it's simple. I know it's straightforward. I know the maps are pretty compact and small. I know the enemy counts are pretty low, but I, I really did enjoy it. And I think like, you know, particularly five six and seven so uh, sharon's lab shadows of darkness and titan's anomaly they were just real fun for me i just you know you know particularly i think map five i ended up playing that a few times more after i recorded it just because i enjoyed being on top of the map i enjoyed you know knowing the routing strategies for it and just kind of pushing it and seeing how fast i could run it um i like the layout of the maps of those three maps in particular i like the uh, the engagement with enemies in it. I liked the the routing and the aesthetics of it all. So I know it's it's pretty basic, but at the same time, really really enjoyable. Uh, much of the rest of the map set was um, you know a little bit missable or forgettable for me, and um, particularly map eight, which is the the last um, non secret level where you just had two barons, was pretty basic. But um, I did actually enjoy the secret the secret map on this. So map nine, uh, creeping death was. Um, not so much about the enemies, not many enemies there, but they were a bit awkward and snipey. But a couple of secrets in there of different types to find. So it was nice kind of hunting those down and looking for them. And it was nice, particularly ones like, um, you know, listening out for, you know, triggering uh, lifts, secret lifts and things like that. So you could find uh, those secrets. So five interesting secrets on that. But overall, really enjoyed it. I definitely found myself kind of uh, evolving and progressing i guess it's pretty straightforward to get better when you're starting from a pretty poor base to begin with um but i did find myself like understanding routing better finding my way around the maps in a better way understanding how these maps are built and structured so you can navigate them in an easier way that was definitely a thing for me and also i think instinctually getting better at kind of identifying and prioritizing enemies and knowing which when what weapons to use in different scenario so really enjoyed it you know that was like play, me playing at a relatively fast level, but um, I thought it was really, really good fun. Um, I've introduced this snapshot before. This is just a single snapshot showing the progress or tracking my progress as I work my way through the different wads. Um, I've updated this from the last one you've seen. So you can see now that I've got Fava Bean with a tick mark on it and Base Ganymede has received the target. So that means that uh, Fava Beans has now been completed. I've uploaded all the videos to YouTube. And my current WAD that I'm working through and recording is Base Ganymede. Um, after Base Ganymede, I'm expecting the next one uh, to target will be Sigil. So really looking forward to this, really looking forward to Base Ganymede. Um, so let's take a quick look at that on the Doom Wiki. So we can see it here. Um, this was created by Adam Woodmansey. And uh, with the final version with all three episodes was released in January 2012. Um, in 2010, interestingly, it did get a second place in the 17th annual CACA Awards for its second episode. Um, but you can see the levels here. So there's 27 levels in total. Um, they are untitled, so I, it'll save me some uh, labeling pain as I go through uh, the uploads. Um, but it's going to be a very interesting map set. Okay, so if we take a, a quick look at my um, ugly Excel sheet, we're finished with Fava Beans now. So if we um, look a little bit more at base Ganymede, we see here that we've got the three episodes, obviously again, nine maps in each episode. And you can start to see the, the monster number counts here. So we're getting up to some pretty big um, levels in this, at least for my standard and a big step up from Fava Beans. So in total, you know, these are averaging something like 1,200 enemies per episode. Um, in, in Fava Beans, it was around 600. So it's basically roughly double the number of enemies. Um, again, all the WAD details are here, all the software settings are here, and I'm updating these as I go. So you can see I've started um, my uh, playthrough recordings already. I finished most of the first episode, and I've started the first couple in, um, in episode two. So lots of processing work to get those on the channel, but they're coming along shortly. Um, one quick point to note, the first couple of episodes, I used a different comp level. So I used comp level two as opposed to comp level three. You should be using comp level three. The distinction is pretty modest, particularly for these early levels. So mainly due to kind of the bouncing mechanics of Lost Souls. So, so nothing particularly to be worried about. But I would recommend you use comp level three, which is uh, the recommended comp, set, comp level setting for um, this WAD set. Um, but yeah, the, the enemy counts are getting bigger. We've got a couple of um, big levels in there. We're getting close to kind of 300 uh, monsters. So looking forward to kind of getting stuck into that a little bit more and working my way through it. 
So as I upload uh, videos of the Basic Enemy playthrough onto YouTube, you can look out for this kind of familiar layout. Um, again, this thumbnail you'll see is a standard. So like uh, the WAD name up here, Basic Enemy, the map here, all of the maps in this WAD are untitled, but the map numbers are here. Um, and also I've put in a picture here of um, Ganymede, which is a satellite of Jupiter, um, just as a quick visual reference to note that this is, um, you know, one of the uh, playthrough videos of this series. So, you know, that's it for now. Um, I'm really excited to be working through this, really, really looking forward to base Ganymede and the kind of step up and difficulty. And uh, I'll keep you updated um, as to how I go. But uh, thanks very much for listening, and I'll talk to you in the next one.